Show off those luscious lips with a simple look that you can wear anytime. Now with a clean moisturized face, start off with foundation. Using a flat foundation brush, apply it all over your face and smooth it out evenly. Now the good thing about liquid foundation is that you can gradually build up the coverage that you want. Now for today, I want a medium coverage since I have been having breakouts lately. You can also apply some on your neck so that it won't look like you're wearing a mask. Then, using a concealer brush, apply your preferred concealer on the under eye area. Make sure to gradually build it up and blend it out well so that it won't look cakey. I'm just putting on a different color of concealer for my blemishes. Now using a translucent loose powder and a powder brush, set the foundation so that it won't come off easily. I'm also applying a bit more on the T-zone area to help control the excess oil. For the brows, I'm just filling it in with a gray eyebrow pencil and brushing off some of the excess for a natural look. Then apply a brow gel or clear mascara to keep the hair in place. Moving on to the eye primer, apply an eye primer on the lids to prep it for the eyeshadows. Then using a flat eyeshadow brush, Apply a shimmery taupe color all over the lids. Then using the other side of the same brush, apply this peachy color to the outer corner to warm up the lids a bit. Now take an angled fluffy eyeshadow brush and with a chocolate brown eyeshadow, apply this on the outer area. Then take this pale, nudie, slightly brown color and use this to blend the harsh lines. This will also serve as a transition color from the highlight on the brow bone to the main lid color. Now I'm going to use this matte cream color to highlight the brow bone and also the tear duct area. Moving on to the eyeliner, line the eyes and make sure to line it as close to the lash line as possible. I find that it's easier to gain more control when lining the eyes if you start at the middle then work your way out. Wing at the outer corner then finish lining the inner part of the eyes. Now curl the lashes and apply your mascara on the top and bottom lashes. Now we're finished with the eyes. Okay, now with this bronzer, I'm just going to contour my cheeks using an angled brush. If you're not a big fan of contouring, that's okay. You may skip this part and just apply your blush. Next, take this peachy orange color and apply this on the apples of the cheeks. For the lips, line the outer part of your top lip and extend the line across. Then define the line across the bottom and fill in the rest of the lip with a pencil liner. Use a pencil liner that is closest to the natural color of your lips because this base will help hold the color in place. Finally, using this bright reddish orange lipstick, apply it on the lips. When using a bright or dark lip color, start at the middle and work the color to the outer edges. Don't put on the lipstick on the corners since the color will seep there on its own. Now clean off the edges using a concealer brush to avoid smudging the color. Lastly, apply a lip gloss on the middle part of the bottom lip for a slight shimmer. And now you're done! Thanks for watching!